one in very much, much more accurate. Oh, you're here. Please have a seat. I've been waiting for you. I know it's very, very, very late at night and everyone else has gone home except you. You're such a hard worker. I've been looking for you. I'm, uh, I'm actually a little disappointed. I've been reading your notes and going over your evidence and I feel disrespected. There's only one detective working on my case. Just you. Only you. But look at, look at what I've been doing. And there's only one person working on the case? One. And you're not very good at your job. This is so inaccurate. It says here that you think that I'm reckless and unintelligent. I haven't been caught. Do you know how many people I've, you know, but then I realized maybe you don't realize how many people I've introduced my hammer to. So I noticed you have a few of the crime scenes up on your wall. I think I should add a few more. Oh, I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. I think you'd prefer to meet my hammer. Here he is. I've been using him a lot lately. It's my favorite. Small, easy carry, but very strong. We're going to play a game with him. It's a simple game. You're going to place your hands on your desk, just flat, just like that, both hands, both hands. I want you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Both eyes. Close them, close them. Good. I'm going to make a noise, and I want you to guess what the noise is. Very simple, very simple. Let's start with the first noise. Metal something? Yeah, metal. It's a nail. Hmm. Can you guess what this noise is? Right, it's a hammer hitting a nail. Okay, I'm gonna have another noise. Might wanna, again, keep your eyes closed, but your ears open. Ready? Do you know what that noise was? Hmm. How can we do that again? That's right, it was me driving a nail into your hands. 
Oh, look at that. Now your hands are nailed down to the desk. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you weren't going anywhere. Because you're not going anywhere, anywhere anytime soon. Good work. Good work indeed. Now, are you focused? Completely focused on me? As you should be. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very, very good. Hmm. So let's go over what you have and some of the things you've taken from me because I've noticed you have some of my things in here and I've really been trying to find them. For instance, you have one of my bracelets. I don't know how I dropped this. It's one of my favorites. my gloves. Yes, I like to wear my gloves. I don't want to leave fingerprints, as you noted in your little book. I don't like to leave fingerprints. No prints. No, no, no. Which is why I bring my own murder weapon. all of my stuff on. <laughs> Do you remember where you found this bracelet? It's up on your wall. Do you need me to remind you? Maybe I'll just tell you. It's right here. I got it caught in some brambles. I knew I shouldn't have targeted someone who was so fast. They thought they could outrun me, but they couldn't. But just for a little bit, I eventually caught up with them. But that's only because I was driving the car. Uh, that's right, I promised you more pictures, didn't I? I thought I'd give you some hints. So I have a picture of a location. That's where one of the bodies is hidden. I don't see any uh, pictures of that area, so maybe you don't know where it is yet. So let me give you a little picture. idea where this is. Uh, somewhere outdoors. Lots of hills. It was a beautiful day that that picture was taken. Fields. Too much like any other field, but I guarantee that it's not like any other field. Who's buried there? It's a trick question. Nobody's buried there. At least no one I've killed. It's where I'm going to bury you. Doesn't that look I'm not sure where yet. Maybe up on this ridge, or maybe down here. Maybe more in this area. I thought I'd let you decide. What? 
and request. I did say I was going to bury a body, but that's not entirely true. I'm just going to bury parts. The other parts are going to end up in a different place. Let's see if you can guess what this is. Any ideas? You might have seen it, you might have not. I don't know what type of life. It's uh, actually used to make perfume. Now, normally people put things like flower petals into this to help make that scent. But I was curious, what would happen if you put human body parts in there? Arm, a leg, or just organs? Maybe a liver? Heart. Is there a certain part that would smell better than the others? Do they all smell the same? I wanted to do something special because you are my detective, not just any old person. I was expecting to have a whole team of detectives, but I clearly need to do something more drastic in order to boost my my rankings, my my standing. You're clearly not taking me serious. You should be taking me very serious indeed. So part of you is going in here and the other part's going here. Hmm. You keep those for now. Maybe you want to look at them some more. Hey, where'd you get this? I thought I lost it. You know, the last time I saw it, it was, it was here. That's the last time I saw it. I was using it to poke out someone's eye. I don't remember that person's name. Is it in your book? Looks like you have all the names, at least the ones you know of, in here. But you're going to have to add another one, your own name, which is, I see part of it on your desk, but that's the first name. Mm -hmm. So you're going to write down how you died. It's going to be slow, be slow. Part of it's going to be here, but then I'm going to take your police cruiser and we'll head to a different spot. This next few hours of your life are going to be very exciting.
am I gonna do first? Well, I do have my eye poking tool. Perhaps we should poke out some eyes. I really don't want you seeing too much. But then again, having you see is so much fun. I think we're having a good time, detective. What's the worst wound you've ever had? Hmm. I'm glad. What I'm going to do to you is going to be a lot worse than that. I'd be disappointed if you experienced something more painful than what I was about to do. I really want you to have a new experience. It's also something I want the other detectives to see and really know that they should be afraid. How long it's going to take your fellow detectives to realize you're gone? I have a plan though. Again, I see how much you like your pictures. So I thought I'd take some pictures of you and add them to the wall. And then I'll leave the uh, other pictures too. I'll see how long it takes the rest of the detectives to realize what happened. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? <laughs> okay, let's take some pictures. I especially want the ones of your hands. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun prying those nails back out. <laughs> Smile if you want. Go. I want one of your faces. Nice. There we go. Did you pose for that one? <laughs> Looks nice. You can see both hands in that one. The lighting could be better. I 
good enough. Don't worry, I have an SD card and I see that your computer takes those so we can print them right here in the office. We can put them up together. Oh, since I have you here, and since I haven't broken your jaw yet, you can still talk. Do you have any last words? I think that we can write out something to your friends or family if you have any of those. Here's my pen. Anything you'd like to say? Again, this is going to be your last chance. Exclamation point, that sounds pretty special. I have two exclamation points. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's good enough. So we'll add this note with your pictures. Plus I'll print out those pictures of you to add to our little pile. And we'll put them up somewhere on the wall. Maybe leave them on your desk. Maybe leave them with the police, uh, the chief of police, whatever their name is. keep this. I like to keep little mementos. Is there anything I should know before we start to head out? I wasn't listening. You're going to become very well acquainted with the hammer. <laughs>